Welcome to my channel. We are making arroz con habichuela today, some Spanish rice and beans. There is a disclaimer before I start the video. My husband is a vegetarian. I get a lot of flack from a lot of people saying they don't cook their food that way. I cook my food the way I do for a reason. A lot of my rice, especially my rice or a lot of my dishes are his main dish, especially when there's no meat in it. So I have to add a lot of things to my food just to keep it nice and nutritionally packed for him. He needs a lot of protein. So my rice and beans, this can be done a million different ways. I put um, a different kind of bean in there than most Puerto Ricans add and I also add potatoes to mine. First, you are going to add olive oil to your pan and some garlic. Do not burn your garlic like I did, um, but it was all good. It was border, it almost burned, but not quite. It still came out tasting really good. Also, keep your pan low, this is why, because you, I, I had a flare up and it's okay. It didn't catch on fire, but there was a lot of smoke for the video. I added mm, probably about a half cup of fresh sofrito. Now, if you don't have fresh garlic, use the jar. And if you don't have jarred minced garlic, use garlic powder. It's quite all right. And sofrito, if you don't have fresh sofrito, I um, either make mine or I buy it from a local market that has fresh sofrito, but you can buy in the frozen section, you can buy Goya frozen sofrito, or you can use the jar. If I say so myself, I would rather use the frozen over the jar, but if the jar is all you have, that's fine. Adobo, I added about two tablespoons of adobo. Um, and you can now find adobo in the Dollar Tree, so that's really good. I added a whole can of tomato sauce, and honestly, in a pinch, I've used spaghetti sauce, I'm not gonna lie to you. Does it taste a little different, sort of, but it's really not even that drastic. Um, so if that's all you got, use it, but tomato sauce, or honestly, I know somebody who doesn't even use tomato sauce, so you can omit if you don't have tomato sauce. Also, I added a little bit of oregano, which you can omit if you don't have. And then here's a packet of sasong. That cannot be omitted. That is what it, what's going to make your rice yellow. And the flavor is just unparalleled. Do not not use the sasong. The sasong. And you can buy sasong at the Dollar Tree. Also, if you don't like olives, don't use olives. I don't like a lot, but my husband does. So I add a little bit and I just pick them out and give them to him. The rice. I rinsed my rice. Two cups. Now, if you do not rinse your rice, that does not mean your rice is dirty. It just means you're gonna have more starch in your rice, so your rice will come out a lot more sticky, like Asian rice. I didn't want my rice sticky, so I rinsed it, but if you don't rinse it, it's okay. That doesn't mean your rice is dirty. I added some beans, an entire can that I drained. Now, this is black eyed peas. Once again, my husband's a vegetarian. Nutritional wise, he loves black eyed peas and they're super healthy for him. So I use black eyed peas, but you can use any bean. You can use pink beans, red beans. You can use pintos, cannellini, um, gandules. Use whatever you have, whatever you want. Now, this is something that I do that most a lot of people don't do, but I add potatoes into mine. Actually, a lot of Puerto Ricans add potatoes, but I added sweet potatoes. One, because it's a pandemic and that's what I had. And two, like I said, nutritional value. I love adding something to my husband's dish. A lot of the time, my rice is his main dish, and then he'll eat like a salad on the side with a little bit of vegetables. So I try to make it as hearty as I can for him. So I add potatoes to mine. This time I had sweet potatoes, and it came out really good. Mix it up, and... You're also going to add two cups water. Two cups rice, two cups water. That is the ratio, one to one. I added bay leaves. If you don't have bay leaves, do not use bay leaves. It's okay. Now, salt your stuff. Adobo is not enough. I say about a teaspoon of salt for every one cup of rice. I'm telling you, you need it. It craves salt. Do not forget to salt it and think that adobo is going to be enough because it won't be. And then you're going to add some pepper. Of course, if you add salt, you add pepper. Now you're going to mix it up a, quite a few times. You're gonna leave the um, right. You're gonna leave it on about medium heat, and you're going to leave. Come back once it looks like this. Mix it up. Leave. Come back once it looks like this. Mix it up. Now, if you like the bottom of your rice burnt, don't mix. But I don't, so I mix. And then once it looks like this, and pretty much all the water is gone, you're going to then cover it. Turn it down to low. Put aluminum foil in between the lid and the pan. Trust me, you need to. Change it to low, cook it on low for 50 minutes. Do not peak. And then when you take it off, you have this beautiful arroz con habichuela with sweet potatoes or regular potatoes or neither. You do you. This is the Whitner way and my rice comes out bomb. Do not knock it before you try it and please stop commenting saying you don't make it like that. We are all different and that is okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This came out really good. It's the holiday. Sweet potatoes was a great addition. Thank you guys so much. I love you.